Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier and welcome to fully understanding the anniversary sale in 4 minutes and 40 seconds. This video is fully targeted on getting you the most out of the sale and how best to exploit the sale for your personal benefit. If you find this video value added and informative, I would appreciate you linking it to your org mates. In the regular no bullshit style, let's get right to it. There are only really two things you need to know this week, anniversary packages and LTI tokens. Anniversary packages come with longer periods of insurance. This year being the fourth year, you can buy ships with four year insurance. For example, if you had a base Hornet with six month insurance and it becomes available as an anniversary edition, you should totally melt it and buy a new one. You should do that unless you own what is known as an alpha package. The ship is your only game package or if the current ship price is significantly higher than what you paid. The Alpha Pack is a legacy pack that was offered with perks that you could no longer get. You'll always be able to tell an Alpha Package because in my hangar, it'll say Ship X with 20 or 30 items instead of just 6. The Ship Package price is also very easy to check if you don't know. Very deliberately, and I say this, click on the Exchange for Credit tab in the My Hangar section and you'll see what the meltdown value is. Compare that value to the Anniversary Ship price to determine if it's advantageous. The LTI Token if you plan to do a massive shuffle in your hangar this year, you should probably pick up a couple of X85 ships before the concept sale is over. I'm going to use the Drake Herald as an example because it's very near to being released. Let's say you missed out on the original concept sale which included lifetime insurance. It's totally okay for you to buy it with 4-year insurance, however, why would you if you can do this very simple step? Select a CCU or cross chassis upgrade in the ship upgrades page. For this example, X85 to Herald, go into your hangar and apply it. For the same price, you now get an LTI instead of a 4-year insurance. Insurance in-game is going to be cheap, but why pay for it if you don't have to? This will work for most ships and adding a simple step will get you lifetime insurance for free. Check out your fleet for ships that don't have LTI. This week, with a bit of planning, will allow all citizens to have LTI on everything. Choose wisely and do your research. Case by case, decide if the LTI is worth that higher price. To me, in this case, it would not be worth it. Now onto the fun stuff, the actual schedule. This year is broken down into Manufacturers of the Day, followed up with a Grand Finale. The Special Edition variants are scattered in there throughout the week. I'll let you know in a separate video what I think about them. Day 1 was Friday the 18th. The Javelin and Idris or Idris were sold as War Bonds which basically is a new cash only sale instead of buying with credit. You get a reduced price as part of the War Bond sale. We got the start of the X85 concept and the start of the Prowler concept. The concept sales usually last one week and come with LTI. This is also usually the lowest pledge price available. For a $20 premium, the Gladius Valiant variant was made available with lifetime insurance, new paint and a different base loadout. No mention of it being terribly limited, so the value is there only if it's important to you. You can achieve the same loadout with a normal Gladius without spending the extra money. The Herald and the Caterpillar also became available with 48 month insurance. Note that the Caterpillar went up $50 this release. Day 2 is Robert Space Industries. The limited RSI ships are the Connie Phoenix, the Orion, and the Polaris. The Phoenix is especially limited, so it may or may not go on sale. Once again, the Gladius Valiant is on sale. Day 3 is Drake. Buccaneer, Cutlass Blue, Caterpillar, Dragonfly Black, and the Herald. And this is the last day for the Valiant. Monday is Day 4, and Misk is on the menu. The Endeavor, the Prospector, both Starfarers, all Reliance, all Hull Series, and all Freelancers. This is also the first day that you're going to be able to see the Hornet Wildfire. Day 5 is Anvil, so we have the Crucible, the Carrick, the Terrapin, the Gladiator, Super Hornet, and also the Hornet Wildfire. Day 6 is Origin, and this is actually very interesting. The 890 Jump has never been sold since concept. The reason I think it's finally going to go up for sale is that there's a price adjustment in the store. Expect to see it, and I expect it to see it for $900. Hopefully available as a CCU to ease the pinch of that new price point. The M50 and the 350R are the only two other Origin ships that are normally limited, but now we have the Titan Renegade. Day 7 is listed as the Exotics, the BMM for sure as well as the Xi'an Scout, probably the Genesis Starliner and the P72. I would not expect the Scythe, but the Glaive maybe, and the Blade very likely. This is also the last day for the Titan Renegade. Day 8 is Aegis, the Super Trolley Avenger Warlock, the Three Vanguards, the Saber and the Saber Comet, the Retaliator, Reclaimer. The Idris P and Javelin are Aegis, but they're capital ships so they can be sold throughout the week. Expect to see them first come first serve, but hopefully with credit and CCU this time. Day 9 is called the Grand Finale. This is your last time to get the Saber Comet, 
And just like last year, it's all ships on sale for one last day. Right, so that's it, quick and easy. It's so important to me that all citizens take this opportunity to mix up their fleet. Swap for LTI or anniversary versions and ships that you already have. Have fun planning out your trades and pledges. One final note, today is the last day for the patron-backed LTI Prospector giveaway. That's ending tonight at midnight. If you liked the video, please link it to a friend. Stay tuned for more in the very near future, and I'll see you in the verse.